Hi, I am Dr. Dawn Vincent. I am a dermatologist at Bellme Dermatology Clinic in Nashville. Did you know that May is Melanoma Awareness Month? I want to talk to you today about skin cancer and its prevention. One in five Americans will develop a skin cancer in his or her lifetime. One million new cases of skin cancer will be diagnosed in the United States this year alone. That is more than any other form of cancer. One person dies from melanoma every hour in the United States. It is the deadliest of all skin cancers, accounting for 8,650 deaths in the United States last year. More than 122,000 cases of melanoma will be diagnosed in the U.S. this year. Melanoma is the most common cancer in people between the ages of 25 and 29. There, the good news, however, is it has a 99% five-year survival rate if detected and treated early. Let's talk a bit about the most common skin cancers, basal cell carcinomas and squamous cell carcinomas. These skin cancers arise within the top layers of the skin, usually on sun-exposed areas. The most frequent locations are head and neck. This is a common presentation of a squamous cell skin cancer. It's an ulcerated bump on the lip. This person most likely is a smoker. Squamous cell skin cancers can also appear as rough, red, scaly patches that will not heal. Here is a common presentation of a basal cell skin cancer. It appears as a pearly bump or papule. Basal cell skin cancers can also appear as rough red scaly patches, but they usually have a pearly edge. Melanomas are the deadliest form of skin cancer. They can appear anywhere on the body, but the most frequent locations are upper back, torso, lower legs, and head and neck. If you have a mole that's new, or an existing mole that changes in any way, you need to see a dermatologist for an examination. Dermatologists always counsel on the A, B, C, Ds, and Es of melanoma. A stands for asymmetry. If one half of the mole does not look like the other half, the mole is asymmetrical and it should be checked. B stands for border. If the border is uneven, jagged, or irregular, it needs to be checked. C is for color. If the color is varied or there are various shades of tan, brown, black, white, red, or blue, please see a dermatologist. D stands for diameter. Melanomas usually are large lesions, greater than six millimeters in diameter. That's about the size of a pencil eraser. If you have a large mole, it does need to be examined. E stands for evolution. If a mole changes in any way, it needs to be examined by a dermatologist. Here is an example. This patient first had a very small, round, even mole that over a period of a few months changed in its shape and its color. This is the prime example for what needs to be examined by a dermatologist. Here's an example of a melanoma. As you can see, this lesion has a large diameter and it is une uneven in its shape and border. Here are other examples of melanomas. As you can see, they, they are large in their diameter and they are very uneven in their color, their texture, and their shape. Who is at risk for melanoma? Anyone that has a history of sun exposure or indoor tanning equipment exposure is at risk for melanoma. If you have had even one blistering sunburn as a child, your risk is increased. If you have had radiation exposure through any other means, like radiation for breast cancer, your risk is increased. If you have red or blonde hair, fair skin, green or blue eyes, if you have more than 50 moles on your body or moles that are large or atypical, if you have a first degree relative that has had melanoma or you have a personal history of melanoma or if you have other cancer history like breast or thyroid cancer, your risk for melanoma is increased. How do we prevent skin cancer? The most preventable risk factor is sun protection. As dermatologists, we recommend using sunscreens that are broad spectrum 
and have an SPF that is a sun protection factor of at least 30. You should use a sunscreen every day of the entire year. We recommend that you reapply sunscreen on a regular basis. Also, wear clothing to protect your skin. Long sleeve shirts, pants, wide brim hats, and sunglasses will work. Never visit a tanning bed. As dermatologists, we re recommend self tanners. Check your birthday suit whenever possible. When you get out of the shower, look at your moles. If you have a mole that is new or has changed in any way, see a dermatologist. I have patients that have been told to get in the sun daily to increase their vitamin D levels. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends that you get vitamin D through your diet and supplementation. We do not know of a safe level of ultraviolet radiation, so please protect your skin when in the sun. As dermatologists, we recommend sunscreen use on a daily basis. We recommend broad spectrum sunscreens. These are sunscreens that protect your skin from both UVA and UVB rays. If you have a sunscreen that has an SPF, sun protection factor of 15, your skin is protected against 93% of UVB rays. Ultraviolet, ray, ultraviolet B rays are the rays that cause sunburn. If you have a sunscreen that has an SPF of 30, your skin is protected against 97% of UVB rays. Ultraviolet A rays are very dangerous as well. These are the rays that are implicated in premature aging, like age spots and wrinkles. Both UVA and UVB rays have been associated with skin cancer. Please put on your sunscreen 30 minutes before leaving the house. This gives it time to set up a protection barrier in your skin. We recommend reapplying at least one every hour or two hours, and especially after sweating or swimming. One ounce of sunscreen should be enough to cover all sun exposed areas of your body. That is the amount of sunscreen it takes to fill up a one ounce shot glass. If I might, I would like to talk a bit about tanning beds. Tanning beds have become extremely popular in the United States over the past few years. One million people visit tanning beds on a daily basis in the United States. 2.5 million teens tan per year in the U.S. All indoor tanning equipment, including tanning beds, emit UVA and UVB radiation. Remember, UVA and UVB can cause skin cancer. So please do not visit tanning beds. The risk of melanoma is increased 75% uh, when visiting tanning beds, especially if you start using tanning beds at an early age. If you have been diagnosed with a basal cell or squamous cell carcinoma, please see a dermatologist for follow-up. You will probably need to have surgical excision of these lesions. The dermatologist will make sure that the margins are clear so that your cure rate will be as good as possible. Both basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas have cure rates approaching 95% when detected and treated early. After your excision, you must protect your skin at all times from the sun. The dermatologist will probably want to see you at least two or three times a year for the first two or three years to make sure that you do not have further problems with your skin cancer. If you have been diagnosed with a melanoma, because this is a more serious form of skin cancer, you will definitely have to have an excision to make sure the melanoma has been cleared from the skin. If the melanoma is a bit more advanced, your dermatologist may want you to have, in addition to the skin surgery, a lymph node biopsy to make sure that the melanoma has not spread to any other site in the body. After the melanoma has been cleared, your dermatologist will want to see you two or three times a year for several years. As time goes on, if you have no further problems with your skin cancer, you may eventually have skin checks once a year. For additional information on skin cancers, radiation exposure, please contact minipearl.org or the American Academy of Dermatology's website at aad.org or call 888-462-DERM. Thank you so much for your attention.